continuing to feel more questions here for us Emily. Karen Blair on one of my prior YouTube clips asks if reading the educational objective at the bottom of QBank explanations is sufficient or does the entire explanation need to be read in full from top to bottom? Okay, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for your simile. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram, uh, melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question from Karen Blair, which is, is the educational objective sufficient to read at the bottom of QBank explanations? Or should the entire explanation be read in full from top to bottom? And the answer is, it's an honor system when you go through QBank in the sense that if you are going to do a hyper cursory pass of the explanations and or not even read them all together, then no, your score augmentation will not be as substantial. Some people do experience stagnation. It's not just the mere process of doing questions in isolation that increases your score. You actually have to do the work, believe it or not. Now, I recognize that many people will have different uh, foundation levels in terms of uh, how much knowledge base you have, where your scores are. Some of you might say, well, it's a waste of time for me to uh, read deeply explanations that I already know the concept. Sometimes skimming is sufficient. Okay, well, there could be a time and place for doing faster reading for concepts you already know but your eyes still need to read the explanations, okay? It's an honor system. No one's gonna be hovering over your shoulder mandating that you read every little thing, but you should just carry the baseline understanding that the more you invest into the explanations, the higher your score will be. That The caveat is that's not synonymous with it should take you eight hours to do 10 questions. I've made prior clips saying that doing uh, a, a block over four to eight hours is actually normal, okay? But the point is, the educational objective alone, no, is not sufficient. Even if it's a super fucking easy question that you already know, let's say it's calcium, vitamin D, like you're already really good on that topic as an example, you should still just quickly read the entire explanation, okay, in addition to the educational objective. I do not agree with the opinion that it would ever be sufficient to merely read the bottom line statement slash educational objective as that being sufficient for USMLE. Okay, you know the deal. I'm gonna continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.